How did you make that connection? Yeah. Well, I actually didn't learn who Snowden was until you did. Um, that day when The Guardian published that lovely video that Laura Poitras shot of Glenn Greenwald talking to Snowden in the Hong Kong hotel room. But I had heard about Snowden before. Um, I knew from my old friends Laura Poitras and Glenn Greenwald that they had been co in contact with an anonymous source who claimed to be a senior intelligence official um, and who had information that he thought the public needed to see. I knew they were flying to Hong Kong to meet this source even though we didn't know his name and they didn't know his name. Um, so shortly thereafter, a few weeks later, um, it was Glenn Greenwald who put me directly in touch with Snowden when he was in the airport in Moscow and introduced us um, over encrypted channels. Uh, and that's when I started acting as his lawyer. Had, had I been involved with Greenwald yeah. before? Yes. Well, I had mainly been involved with Greenwald as a source for him when he was really beginning his journalism career, moving from the practice of law to covering civil liberties full time. Um, some of the issues that he covered were issues that I was working on, um, about the government's no-fly list, about the rendition program, about the state secrets privilege, about surveillance. So we got to know each other quite well in that capacity. Um, he interviewed me a number of times. Same with Laura Poitras. Um, um, I had given her legal advice in the past about her problems with government watch lists, um, about her filming of a movie at Guantanamo. We had been in touch about a lot of those kinds of things. You know, he knew the risk he was taking. Uh, and I think that, that in almost every way, he, the results of his actions have exceeded his expectations. He lives freely. He has complete access. If you want proof that he can do whatever he wants, he used that computer to type an op-ed that criticized Putin's surveillance practices mm -hmm. and called Putin a liar. No, he has complete freedom of movement and action where he is. Um, you know, that doesn't mean that he should go on Russian television every day and criticize his hosts. Yeah. Uh, that's not something that you expect of someone yeah. who's living under yeah. a grant of asylum. Um, but he doesn't feel constrained, and, uh, and he certainly has full access to information. Okay, well, thank you very much. Really appreciate My pleasure. you coming. Thanks. You don't call in.